Science nerds of Reddit, what pseudoscience drives you bonkers the most? Facebook Instagram psychology like psychological fact 425 those who smile the most are the saddest. When someone says X is only like O any molecule away from being Y so you're basically eating taking poison. Polygraph That one hidden food that was recently discovered to have all the cures and vitamins like mangosteen and jojoba. I've been a registered dietitian for 16 years. I just can't with the nutritionists on Instagram hocking their MLM diet bullshit. It's not worth my time to argue with them though. In fact it is a total waste of time. Saying a chemical is too dangerous to eat because you can't pronounce it. Toxins and cleansing them. When I took astronomy in college my parents kept asking me to tell their fortune. Magnetic. Fucking. Bracelets. When my child is sick, and people tell me try elderberry oil it worked on my kid put cut up potatoes in their socks before bed. It removes all the toxins. I give my kid lemon, cayenne pepper, fish oil, and honey when they are sick. Works wonders no lady. Potatoes in the socks aren't going to help my kid when he has asthma and bronchitis. He's about to make some gnarly mashed potatoes in his socks and still be sick. And now I have to clean potato out of his socks. As an environmentalist I run into lots of anti-science stuff in hippie circles. The most common one I see is people selling food products with no chemicals in it. Crystals for sure. I'm a geologist and I love collecting rocks and minerals and fossils. People who are into crystals for healing and shit make me look like an idiot. I can't choose between flushing toxins out of your body or astrology. They are just both so far beyond stupid. Anytime I see quantum mechanics or string theory used to try and explain some spiritual woo-woo nonsense. Chemtrails. Worked in aircraft maintenance software development. It's like Lego manuals for 737s. No chemistry trail nozzles or tanks or piping. I promise. As a physicist, it is astounding how many people who couldn't pass an algebra course also seem to have theories about quantum physics. I honestly love hearing them at this point. When someone says it's hot out today so that proves global warming climate change. Or when someone says it's cold out today so that disproves climate change. It's about long-term trends. Not individual hot and cold days. Homeopathy. Whenever people find out I am a PhD in psychology they immediately start to tell me about their weird dreams and ask me what they mean. Brew I don't know nor do I care and neither does anybody else. Homeopathic medicine. What. The. Hell. Honestly, it's the entire attitude and stance of pseudoscience conspiracy people. Instead of finding reliable sources to be good, they purposefully seek out the least reliable and fantastical things they can find and put their faith in that instead. Anti-expert mentality is everywhere in our society and it's dangerous. Let me see. Alkaline diet water essential oils anti-vax rhetoric terrain theory detox diets, products etc. And the toxins influences resonance or vibrations as a panacea craniosacral therapy inflammation nonspecific as the cause of all disease I could go on. I'm a physiologist and physiology professor and I get asked about these a lot. I was having a conversation with two moms at school pickup the other day and started talking about bringing their newborns for chiropractic adjustments at two weeks old. I was absolutely dying inside. Any every time some tabloid publishers look at this asteroid that has a 0.0000000000000001 chance of maybe hitting Earth no. No it doesn't. Shut up. There are actual problems to solve on this planet right now. Homeopathy. 
No, my nephew with brain damage from a birth defect did not see improvements from colloidal silver and essential oils. All that did was drain my sister's wallet. But apparently, Big Pharma is poisoning us with real medicine, so there's no changing her mind. The whole alpha male thing. Alpha males don't exist in wild wolves, and the poor guy who made that study debunked it and has spent his whole life trying to get people to drop it. But even if it did, it doesn't mean they exist in humans and doesn't mean we should model our society after them. Traditional Chinese Medicine It has decimated all sorts of animal populations from rhinos to leopards to pangolins. And now even the World Health Organization is bending over to give TCM more legitimacy when it doesn't deserve any. Toxins, because it's just the most obvious cash grab there is. Flat Earth Jesus, I am not going into it. Perfectly fine with witchcraft though. Let them have their fun. Pop psychology. Personality tests specifically. Eating fat makes you get fat. All of the negative GMO crap, don't tell me you think your carrots are all the same color by accident. Anything with energy or frequencies. Most things that people try to make out of these two concepts are allegories that use these two words in their day-to-day -day use, not the scientific one. The best rebuke that I've found is to make these both as unsexy as possible. I tell people that energy doesn't really exist it's just more or less like accounting, but in thermodynamics, and a frequency is just how many times something happens per second. The Myers-Briggs Personality Test it's completely nonsense, maybe one step ahead of astrology. In fact, the people I see putting weight in it the most often are people who used to believe in astrology but decided they wanted something more real. But what the fuck do I know, I'm an ESTP, right? Nutrition and fitness science are full of so many gurus who just say things in ways to sound like their way is teachy right way. Or conclusions are made based off age-old bro science assumptions that make sense just because of some basic reasoning that breaks down when analyzed. Homeopathy. I'm a pharmacist, so it really grinds my gears. It is really dangerous, I've seen patients stop using proper meds because some homeopathy quack got to them and they don't believe big bad farm industry anymore. Thing is, homeopathy can get you a lot of money so some properly educated people take advantage of that. Flat Earth Theory Essential oils Sure they smell nice but they don't cure shit. Astrology Anytime someone says trust the science, without actually referring to any scientific study, People who oppose nuclear power because they don't understand it, so they're scared of it and claim a nuclear power plant meltdown has the potential to cause as much destruction as an atomic bomb. Using your hair to test for food sensitivities. Apparently it uses bioresonance and physics machines. If I have one more person tell me that it's legitimate because it's performed by a certified lab I will lose my mind. I develop scientific assays for a living and have a graduate degree designed around investigating antibody sensitivities. This is some real bullshit. Technical analysis for stocks crypto gets to be a bit woo woo sometimes. Likened to astrology for men by some LMAO. Apple cider vinegar cures everything and if ACV doesn't work, maybe you should do the master cleanse. No. Just fucking no. As a geologist, those who are fully on board with crystal healing drive me insane. They're inorganic, they do nothing except for oxidize or rust very slowly. A lot are cool to look at but they don't provide any chakra or energy or any of that bullshit. Chiropractors Spiritual hippie types who mash together things like quantum entanglement and consciousness, or the double slit experiment proves there is more than one reality. Also 5G. People in the UK were burning down 5G masts. Apart from the fact that microwave radiation at that level is completely harmless, 
these people were seemingly unaware of the fact that every Wi-Fi router in the country is already emitting radiation in the 5G frequency range, and has been for 